Hello everyone. In this session, we'll learn one example for self-organizing map. So, self-organizing map is an unsupervised learning model, and it follows the principle of winner takes all. So, we'll be presenting an input pattern. We'll just find the distance between the presented input pattern to that of clusters, and whichever has the minimal distance, we choose that as a winning unit. And we try to update the weight only for that links that are connected to the cluster unit. And within certain radius, we try to uh, accommodate the remaining updations too. Now here is an example, a very simple example. Uh, so this is a network structure where I have one, two, three, three input neurons with two clusters. And uh, these are all the pattern that I'm going to present over here. I have one, two, three, four input patterns. Okay. So the steps here will be, first step is we have to initialize this weight vector randomly. So I have taken some of the examples over here. And we have to update the learning rate. Learning rate is taken as 0.8 and for each and every iteration we are going to reduce the learning rate with certain limit and it is taken as 0.5 here. So this can be modified. Okay, the way you fix this learning rate and the uh, reduction in the learning rate is up to you. For, uh, it is for stabilizing the net. And we have to consider a radius. Okay, so I told you now, uh, there will be one winning unit. We try to update the weight of the links connected to the winning unit. So within certain radius of clusters that present near to the winning unit, we take that also. Okay, so either if I take this C2 as a winning unit, I update the weight at links connected to C2. And if I consider radius as 1, I consider the nearby cluster also. So all the links near to the uh, clusters of C2, uh, all the links will be updated. So here in the example, I just have two clusters. So I don't want to update each and every cluster each and every time, right? So I go ahead with the radius of zero, but, but when you have a lot of clusters to be classified, you can just increase this uh, radius of the structure. Okay, so now what I do, I'll just take the first input pair 100. Zero, zero. Okay, so I take the first input pair of 100. Zero, zero. I try to present it to the net and find the distance between the presented input, like 1, 0, 0 is presented over here. I find the distance between this input neuron to that of the clusters. And I use a uh, Euclidean distance formula for calculation. And this is the formula for Euclidean distance calculation, xi minus wij the whole square. So when I consider this cluster unit, I have to subtract x1 minus this weight of 0 0.5 the whole square x2 value is 0 minus 0 0.8 the whole square and x3 value is 0 minus 0 0.4 the whole square all the links connected to c1 will be considered okay so x1 minus w11 x2 minus w21 and x3 minus w31 okay and uh, by updating the i, I get the value of 1.05 and similarly, I have to calculate the distance between the presented input pattern to that of cluster 2 since I have to calculate the distance between all the cluster, choose one with the minimal as the winning unit, okay? So now I have only two clusters, first cluster value become 1.05. This is the distance between the presented input and the cluster C1. Now similarly, I want, I want to find the distance between the presented input and the cluster C2 and that will be calculated as 1 minus the weight vector, 0.3, 0 minus 0 0.5. 0 minus 0 0.3 the whole square. Okay, so it is x1 minus w12, x2 minus w22, x3 minus w32. Applying in the formula, I get the value was 0 0.83. So I have two clusters. I have presented my input pattern. Find the distance between the presented input pattern and the clusters. Now I have to choose the winning unit. First, for the cluster 1, the value is 1.05. For the cluster 2, I get the value of 0 0.83. So 0 0.83 is the minimal value, so I choose this two second cluster as the winning cluster unit. Okay, so now after getting a winning cluster unit, what we have to do? We have to go ahead with the weight updation. So we have to bring this much closer. Okay, so the distance between the cluster two links has to be updated. So cluster two, we have the links as uh, the weights that are connecting between the cluster two weights are 1, 2, 2, 2 and 3, 2. So 1, 2, 2, 2, 1, 3, 2, we have to go ahead with the weight updation formula. And this is the formula for weight updation, old weight plus learning rate into the input minus w, uh, the weight vector, the whole weight vector structure, the previous weight. Okay, so for 1, 2, 1, 2, no, 1, 2 is this link. Okay, the old weight is 0 0.3. 
and x1 takes the value of 1. So 0 0.3, uh, uh, new learning rate value is assigned as 0 0.8. So 0 0.3 plus 0 0.8 into x1 value is 1 minus the weight vector is w one to o. So that is 0 0.3. Okay, I apply in the formula, I get the value updated weight as 0 0.86. And similarly, we have to calculate for 2, 2. For 2, 2, you have to take the value of x2 as 0 and the link connecting this 2 and y2, x2 and y2. So here you have the value. Okay, so it is 0 0.5 plus 0 0.8 is the learning rate value and 0 is your x2 value minus 0 0.5, you get 0 0.1, that is the updated weight. And similarly, you have to calculate for 3, 2, the link between this. So x3 value is 0 and the weight vector is 0 0.3. So you get the updated weight as 0 0.3. 06. Okay, so this is presenting your first pattern alone. I have taken this S1, found the Euclidean distance function, chosen meaning vector and updated the weight. Now I have to repeat the same for S2, S3 and S4. Okay, so this is one single iteration. One single iteration consists of training it with all the input pattern once. So once after it is completed for all the four, I have to go ahead with the weight updation for uh, the learning rate updation. Okay, so le learning rate is 0 0.8 and each time we have to multiply it with 0 0.5 so that the value will get reduced for it. Got it? So this is the actual working mechanism of self-organizing map. So it is an unsupervised learning model. It follows the principle of topological preservation and it actually follows winner takes all procedure. We choose one meaning cluster unit and we go ahead with the weight updation. It is like when I update the weight, we are going to bring this closure to the input pattern that is presented. Okay, so next time when I am coming, or when I am just going to apply the same pattern, so this has a higher weight. So this winning unit will get selected. Okay, so that is how it works. A self-organizing map. Okay, so the similar pattern is followed, by, uh, followed for your learning vector quantization. So that is the next algorithm that you are going to learn. So for learning vector quantization, uh, you have the same principle of self-organizing map, but it will be a supervised learning model that we will be looking into the next video sessions. Thank you.